Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. I never posted on this channel before. But um, today I will be showing you guys how I installed this headband wig. First of all, I got it from RPG Hair. And this hair company is really good. It took a little long for it to come, well longer than I would have liked for it to come. But it's here and it feels really good. It's a really nice wig and I can't wait for you guys to see. I'm gonna start by, of course, putting my hair in some sort of ponytail. I'm going to put some shining jam or whatever type of gel you wanna use. This is the one that I like to use. Put some of this in the front to kind of slick it back on the edges because the front part is going to be out so you need that nice and slick I'm going to now take my edge brush and just take my edges out. You can take as much or as little as you want out. It does not matter. Put the rest back up there. So it should look somewhat like this right now. Now, I'm going to take the wig. So this headband wig, this is the headband part. It has a Velcro strap. So, of course, in the back, you're going to strap it like that. Well, like that. And then it has these combs in it. So I'm going to put this comb at the front of my head first. Go ahead. Stick that in there. You don't want it all the way at the front because you want a little bit of your hair to be showing because it makes it look more realistic. <laughs> so I'm going to take these two combs and go from the front on back. And then I need to do the back, of course. So I'm pull the wig all the way down so I can clip the comb in the back. Okay, so don't worry about how it looks right now because I still have to clip this part on there. So I'm going to take these, make sure they're on there correctly. Make sure this part is like that. Then I'm gonna go ahead and lift all the hair up. Strap it on down. You can make it as tight or as loose as you want it to be. Doesn't matter. So here it is on a little bit. I like to push my headband back a little bit because I want a little bit of my real hair to show like right up here in the top. Cause I feel like it gives it a more like just realistic look. See? How that looks, it looks like it's coming right out of my head and I just have a random headband on. So, ooh, I'll wear it like this sometimes. You can wear it how you want. You can wear it poofy, you can wear it even bigger, anything. But for now, I'm going to wear it like this. It's too far back. Okay, so now you're going to take your spray bottle and your vent brush, a towel. <laughs> so I'm gonna start with this side. You're just gonna spray that hair. So as you guys can see, there's the curl pattern when it's wet. But I would say it has different textures. When it's wet, it looks like this. But I'm going to show you on this side what it looks like with the mousse. I can do a whole video on how I style mine. I leave it overnight. I'll show you the products, everything.
Okay, you guys, so I have this side all brushed out with water. Just water, no other product. So here's how it's looking so far. Nice and bouncy and wet and curly. You can put the brush right through it. So there's that side. Here's like individual curls. Put your hands through everything. Okay, let me see if I can turn around for you guys. You can kind of see how it's about. Next, I'm gonna use some Cantu Shea Butter Mousse on this side of the hair. Which I need to get some more, but. Here it is Natural Wave Whip. I'm just doing two different sides to really show you how it looks. But there's other things that I put in it to keep the curls all at bay. But you guys will have to let me know if you want to see something like that. It smells amazing. You just run your hands through it like such. I like to put the mousse in there and scrunch it up. No, I did not put a lot of mousse in there, but I also don't have a lot. I gotta go get some more, but as you can see in the front, when you comb it, it kind of straightens. So I like to scrunch it up a little bit as well as add water. You can style this before or after you put it on. I just like to put mine on. I don't know why. I just like to put it on and then style it. Because you'll notice sometimes when you're pulling it, it'll like the little hairs up here will come out a little more. But you can always fix that at the end. It's not, it doesn't take any time to fix that stuff. I do prefer putting just mousse in my hair, but I will add just a little bit of water, you know, but not as much as I did to this side. To me, this side looks better than this side, but this is just water. I can't be mad that at the result of this, but I just like my curls a little like this, you see? You can see that product in there. That's what I like to see. I like to see all that product in there. And then I like to scratch it. Make sure you get that back as well because you can't really see that back there. But that's kind of the downside to putting it on your head and then styling it. But as long as you don't forget the back, you should be good. So I'm sure you guys can see a difference. This side is just water. This side is just mousse and water. You can decide how you want to wear your wig. I'm not telling you how to, what you should put in your wig, what you shouldn't. But if it happened to rain, you're going to be straight is what I'm saying. This does not look bad at all. I love this wig's curl pattern. Like It looks so good. It looks so natural. Everything about it is just so cute. It's so bouncy, like it's not stiff. Everything is just so good. 
good. Now we have that together. Now we have to take the shining jam or whatever gel you use. Okay, so you're gonna wanna fold this up, put a little bit more. Now, you know how I slick my ponytail back? You can also do that part after. Like, just put in ponytail for real. You see how that's looking? You can do all of that part after you put it on. Like, this is so simple. This is why I like this wig because you don't got to do much. And I appreciate it because some days I just be wanting to throw something on, you know? Throw something on and go. You could take this comb in the front and kind of push it in there. Again, if it got, you know, a little off track there. Make sure you pull this part forward. Pull that back some so you can see a little bit of your hair. As long as you can see a little bit of your hair, it will look like it's yours, okay? Gonna take the baby hairs out. I'm gonna take some more of the shining gem. Or whatever edge control you use. I just have to go get some more edge control. And just swoop. Sometimes I like to just do a constant motion. This time I think I'm going to stick to what I knew. Well, not stick to what I know, but stick to what I can do best. I will also I will also recommend getting a silk head wrap, silk head scarf for after you do your edges because it'll help lay your edges. Like you can lay your edges and then do the rest of your hair and then come back and it'll be completely dry and it'll be straight for the rest of the day. So this what it's looking like once again this is with the mousse this is not with the mousse so i just wanted to do that so you guys can get a feel for how it looks with and without the mousse because not everybody has mousse and not everybody wants to pay for mousse and that's okay it'll still look good with just water how it looks from the side. Side view, front view, side view. Let me see if I can get back. Okay, so here's a top view. Now, you can wear it down the middle, you can wear it, I like to wear mine kind of like this. I like to wear mine like this. But you can wear it however you want. It doesn't matter. I think it's cute anyway. This wig is popping. I will put the link in the description. But thank you guys for watching. And please share this with your friends. Because I wish I would have known about a wig that was this simple to put on. But thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And let me know if you guys want to see how I keep the curls in all day. Because I do have a product that I like to use. And it be looking wet all day. Wet and juicy all day. Okay. <laughs> See you next time.